What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. We are bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You guys already know that, but in today's video, we're going to be using a Sandy Shocks team that features Scissor, Brute Bonnet, and Fluttermane that was actually made by a world champion. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that bigger subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. We are pushing 20,000 subscribers and it absolutely blows my mind. So if you guys are not subscribed yet, help me out by clicking that big red subscribe button. But like I said, this team was made by a world champion, Ryoto Osabu. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to the Pokey Pace and more importantly to his social medias and his pages. So if you guys want to go check him out, definitely go check him out. But we got Fluttermane to get this team started here in that top left corner. Fluttermane, absolutely amazing in Series 2. You guys know this is a top tier Paradox Pokemon and top tier Special Attacker. This one has Protosynthesis with the Focus Sash as item, then Rock and Dazzling Lean, Shadow Ball, Icy Wind for a bit of speed control, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Second Pokemon is going to be that Sandy Shocks. Haven't used this Pokemon yet on the rank ladder, so it's definitely going to be fun. It is Ground and Electric with Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy to boost its most proficient stat, which I believe to be on this Pokemon is Special Attacking. So this Pokemon is going to be able to hit like a truck. It's got Thunderbolt, Earth Power both for Stab, then it's Rock and Substitute and Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be one of my favorite Paradox Pokemon. It is going to be the Brute Bonnet. It's got Protosynthesis, the Citrus Berry, and then a crazy cool moveset of Close Combat, Sucker Punch, Spore, and Rage Power. So this one can hit, or it can be a support Pokemon putting Pokemon to sleep, or using Rage Power to protect ally Pokemon. Fourth Pokemon is going to be the Fire Tauros, and this Tauros has been seen a lot throughout the uh, Series 2 meta. I did not really get to see it in Series 1, but since Series 2 came out and about, the Water Tauros kind of went away, and the Fire Tauros stepped into the uh, the field. This one has Intimidate with the Covert Cloak, Raging Bull, Close Combat, Willow Wisp for burn, Burns, and Protect for its final move. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Scissor, and Scissor is so good in Series 2. It can counter Flutter Mains, it can hit really hard on, on uh, Roar Moons. All around, it's a great Pokemon for Series 2. This one has Technician, the Assault Vest as item, and it's Rocket Pounce, Bullet Punch, Brick Break, and Thief to take items. Final Pokemon is going to be Murkrow. Murkrow is just as good as he was in Series 1 in Series 2. Really good at speed control, really good at countering, great Pokemon all around. This one has Prankster, the Evo Light, and then this one is Rock and Brave Bird. Brave Bird Murkrow, gonna do some nice damage, and then it's got Tailwind for speed control. Sunny Day for weather control and pop Protosynthesis, and Haze to change all stat changes on the field. Guys, you wanna rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Sandy Shock and Scizor team. First match coming at you guys, going up against an Iron Hand and Fluttermane Dondozo team. So that means I have to bring Murkrow for He's got to be able to counter that some way. So, so Murkrow is definitely coming in here. Probably not going to lead him, but definitely want to bring him. Who should I go into here? I'm thinking Fluttermane and Sandy Shock could be really good. Definitely want to check out Sandy Shock's stats real quick. Considering I've never used this Pokemon. Looking pretty cool. Standing on its little magnets. And then its special attack stat is insane. It's pretty fast too with 168. But its special attack stat, that is wild. That is wild. And its HP is not too bad at 161. I can get down with that. I might actually lead him. He's going to be great. He's going to be great up against a lot of these Pokemon. But we do have to watch out for Fake Outs coming in hot. Fake Outs could definitely be scary. Do we think he leads Rain? I mean, I could lead Murkrow and just pop Sunny Day. And kind of go from there. That would not be bad. Hmm. What is that player? I definitely want I definitely want to go Sandy Shocks. But yeah, we'll bring Murkrow in the back end because the thing is I do not want Murkrow to die and then then bring out the Dondo. So it could just be a problem for us. So I'm gonna go into the, those two. I am going to bring Murkrow. And then last but not least, do I go Scissor or the Brute Bonnet? Brute Bonnet's not bad. I mean we have the close combat, we have Sucker Punch, we have Spore, we have Rage Powder. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in with the scissor. We can do a lot with scissor. He has a soul vest, makes him a bit more bulkier. We have thief. We can take items. We have. Do we have brick break on him? No, it's yeah. We have brick break to break screens. We have pounce, and then we have bull punch. I really like this move set for scissor. Very versatile and very cool. But yo, that trainer card right there, fire. That was fire. Did, taking a little selfie with shiny Charizard. I like it. I like it. Don Dozo and Pelipper should come out here. Turn one. Oh, okay. I mean, again, I have Murkrow. I feel like at this point. We just double down. We could double down Don Dozo if we want to. Now I got a pro synthesis pop. Let me get off some nice damage here. And he could go for EQs, but I mean, I feel like the play has got to be clean. And do we protect Sandy Shocks? I could protect Sandy Shocks. Or I could just go straight into a Thunderbolt. I mean, EQ, would EQ be super effective onto us? Because we're part ground. 
I'm not too sure, but I'm just gonna pop this uh, Thunderbolt into Don Dozo slot. Could definitely swap. Could definitely swap. I'd probably say lead to Don Dozo. Don Dozo might not even, like, Tatsugiri might not even be here. A lot of people bring in Don Dozo without doing anything, but he's gonna swap into the Tatsugiri here. It's all good. It's all good. So Tatsugiri's gonna come out here. Um, I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. Commander's gonna poke in through its mouth. If you take out one of my Pokemon, I just bring out Murkrow. I haze it, and then we get after the battle that way. Which is not too shabby. Not too shabby. But are you, what are you going for? EQs here? What are you going for? Wave crashes probably to KO me? Definitely outspeed my uh, Sandy Shocks. And he's going to Tarras us here. That's looking a little scary. Definitely looking a little scary. He is definitely taking out one of my Pokemon here. Hopefully he goes after my Fluttermoon. That would be the best. And ooh. Oh! Beautiful grass swap. Beautiful grass swap. I mean, I bring a Murkrow. I can haze. Just get after the battle that way. But we'll see what he wants to go into. Gleam's going to fire. It's not going to do too much damage here. And then... Does Thunderbolt outspeed? No, he goes straight for a Surf. The Surf comes out here. Can any guys heat this up? I mean, I know Fluttermane can. Fluttermane ate it up without Focus Ash, which is cool. Without the Focus Ash, that is awesome. And then my Sandy Shocks just goes down. That's fine. We'll take it that there, and I'll just bring out straight up the Merc. Straight up. But I'm surprised he actually ended up beating Don Dozo. That definitely threw me off there. But from here, it's obviously got to be... I could Gleam. Or we'll do more damage. I mean, we could Terrasalize. Shadow Ball, Gleam. You do about the same amount of damage here. Icy Wind would just be super effective. Gleam would do a bit more, so. I say we just go into a Shadow Ball, right? I say we just go into a Shadow Ball here. So I'm going to Shadow Ball. I am just going to Haze this turn. And we'll go from there. I can always Sunny Day next turn, too. So there's the Haze. Give me them stat changes. Not dealing with it. Not dealing with all those boosts. I still do outspeed with Flutter Main. Well, actually. His speed boost is gone. And he's going to go for another Surf. So Surf comes out here. Uh, Murkrow. Ooh, Tatsu. Oh, I was going to say Tatsugiri dies. But I do not have Tatsugiri. <laughs> but it's all good. Murkrow should be fine here. Murkrow can finish off that. That Don Dozo. And I believe Murkrow is faster, right? Please show me you're faster, Murkrow. 111. And yeah, you are faster. So I can set up a Tailwind next turn. After I Brave Bird. And then try to get rid of the Tatsugiri. This Brave Bird's obviously going to KO. Brave Bird can definitely KO. So I'm going to go for probably maybe a Pounce. Hmm. Lowers the uh, speed stat. I could take Item. Actually, I have an Item, so. Hmm. I don't want to Bullet Punch because I do not want to go before. I guess I'll just lower the Tasugiri speed stat. Probably my best bet, right? So we'll go into you and then, again, just Brave Bird on top of this. That's my play. So we're down to Scissor and... We're down to Scissor and Murkrow. It seems fine. I mean, we're just Brave Burn here. And then next turn, I could Tailwind if need be, just to get a nice little speed boost here. And I still do have my Terrasalization, which is really good. Still do have my Terrasalization, but I am really scared. What is my Terror? What is my Terror type? It's Dragon. Okay, that's actually pretty good up against the Waterproof one. Because we know he has Pelipper. I mean, that's going to be a problem. And if Pelipper comes out here, I can Sunny Day and just switch the weather. Could be good for me. So again, I'm just going to pounce here. Send it there. And then Brave Bird across the board. So that's fine. So Brave Bird comes out here. This should KO no problem. We say bye-bye to Don Dozo. Tatsugiri does not get off a turn. We're going to be able to pounce. Deal some damage onto that. And then I can either Tailwind. I can Sunny Day. I can do a lot here. I can do a lot. I can definitely do a lot. We'll see how this one plays out. We shall see. The Pounce coming out here. Not doing too much damage. Oh, wow. Actually doing a good chunk. I forgot. It is also... Uh, I think that's Technician as well. And the Stab. Hitting hard. We get the Speed Drop on that. And who are you going to bring out? That's a real question. Who are you bringing out? So I don't know if I should Tailwind or Sunny Day. It really depends who they bring out. Let me Pelipper. So Pelipper comes out here. I mean, Rain ends... Very soon, right? Let me turn this off in Rain. One of five. I could bullet punch KO you. And I could just tailwind set up. Hmm. Do I tailwind or do I sunny day? I think I sunny day here. I feel like it either goes into a hurricane or a... I feel like it either goes into a hurricane or a... Uh... Or a Hydro Pump, right? So if we Sunny Day and just get rid of this weather here. I think I'm cool with that. I think I'm cool with that. 
So we're gonna change this, the, the the weather here. Bullet punch should KO. Yes, it does. And we're gonna hope that this thing goes for, say, a hurricane and misses. Because now it's in the sun. Let's see what's gonna go into here. Goes for a hurricane. And it misses. What a play by us. Changing the weather, predicting the hurricane coming out here. And now I can go into Tailwind if I need if I want to. And on top of that, it takes away all weather damage. Really, really good for us. And now I could Terrasalize in the Straight Dragon if I want to, right? Do I Terrasalize in the Straight Dragon? I mean, Brick Break definitely want to come out here. That is a real question. I don't think I want to Terrasalize in the Dragon, right? I mean, Water would be scary, but I think we're fine here. We're just going for Tailwinds. Setting up speed for my Scissor and just going from there. I'm digging that. I'm really liking this turn. I'm really, really liking this turn. So we're looking for the clutch up with scissors. This is a solid battle here. Solid, solid battle. You own the tailwind. Brick breaks can come out here. Deal some big time damage. Bring it down to the red. Or not red. Into the uh Into the yellow. So now helpers showing out here. I'm terrified. I do have a soul fest for this hydro pump, and wow, the hydro pump lands pretty easily. And I'm able to soak really, really well. So the real question is, what do I do here? Do I predict the protect? I mean, I feel like that thing has to protect, right? I feel like Dreadnought has to protect. Dreadnought has to protect here. So I think Thief's gonna be our play just to get off the focus actual Pelipper, and we're gonna predict the we're gonna predict the protect on. Right, Dreadnought has to protect. He does not. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. That might have just lost me the match. Might have just lost me the match. That hurts. Did not protect, but still. First battle definitely went solid. They took out my Sandy Shocks early here, and I really needed my Sandy Shocks. So maybe I should have swapped to a Pokemon. But hey, first battle, we'll take that one to the chin. We'll hop it through a second one. Look for a first victory. Second match coming at you guys. Probably should have just straight up went towards the Dreadnought in match number one. But hey, we'll take that loss in the chin. We'll grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Going up against an Iron Hands team with Arcanine. I gotta say, Intimidate Arcanine. So I gotta watch out for with that, especially with my physical attackers. And then they got the Deli Bird Iron Bundle. Uh, Golden Go, Gargle Knackle, and last but not least, Rocket Amoongus for a little bit of support. So, I feel like Fluttermane's got to come in here. Nice little lead. I feel like Fluttermane's a solid lead. Same thing with Sandy Shocks would be good. Or I can just straight up lead Murkrow because I feel like Speed could be really good for us. Man, I don't have Protect on this thing. But still, Speed could be very, very good for us. So, I'm going to go Murkrow. I mean, if he wants to fake me out, he can fake me out. Uh, I think that's fine. I could also go into Sandy Shocks for the lead. It wouldn't be a bad lead. I definitely want to go into a special attacker. Either Sandy Shocks or Fluttermane. And I'm kind of leaning towards Fluttermane here just because we have speed. We can do some big time damage. It's pretty good. So I'm with it. I'm with Fluttermane here for lead. Bringing Sandy Shocks in the back end. And then last but not least, I really like... Do I got Brute Bonnet or Scissor? I really like Scissor more so here. Scissor just has a great move pool with the Soul Fest. Really bulky up against the special attackers. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Plus, the only fire Pokemon he has is going to be Amoongus. And I could Tarras, or not Amoogus, <laughs> why would I say Amoogus? It's Arcanine, and I can just Tarrasalize and Dragon at that point, which could be pretty good for us. Could be pretty good. We'll see how he wants to play this one. I think Arcanine might get a lead. Iron Hands and Iron Bundle, that's fine. That's fine. I kind of thought that the Iron Hands was going to come in here just for straight up fake out. And I might just swap my Murkrow here, right? I feel like I have to swap my Murkrow. The fake out KOs me. That could hurt the soul, so I'm going to swap him into straight up Scissor here. I'm going to swap the Murkrow into the Scissor. I am going to just gleam across the board. And try to figure out the speed situation, especially with uh, Fluttermane and Iron Bundle. See who outspeeds. Because I can always Icy Wind if I want to. I can always Icy Wind for Speed Control with Fluttermane. I can save Murkrow for the back end. I really like that. Because again, if I don't withdraw Murkrow here, I feel like the Fake Out comes in here. Same thing with the Freeze Dry. I think he's just doubling down and he gets rid of me, right? I'm going to swap, Hard Swap, straight into Scissor here. Fake Out does come in that slot. Are you Freeze Drying as well? He does freeze dry. So, again, beautiful swap from us. That was huge. That was big time plays. And now I can bullet punch into uh, what's called if I want to as well. Into Iron Bundle to finish that off. I dig it. I dig it. B punch coming in hot here. Yes, B punch. Actually, will B punch KO? I think B. Yeah, B punch could KO. B punch is 100% going to KO. And then we just drop another Dazzle Gleam. Chipping up some more damage on the Iron Hands. Awesome. Awesome start from us. Great read. Where was Iron Bundle? You see we just punched the air there? Dude, they gotta fix these animations with Scarlet and Violet. Game's so good not to be pristine. Dazzle Gleam comes in here. This close to another KO. Drain Punch gonna fly here. Chip up a little bit of damage, but a beat punch can take him out. I like call him Bull Punch, Beat Punch. I mean, we only have to go into a, a Bull Punch in that. Gleam will finish that off. 
Gleam can finish that off. I like where we're sitting. Arcanine can come out here. That's fine. That is fine. You can intimidate me. I'm all good with that. My boy got off got off some big time plays. Plus we have Murkrow in the back end. See, 100%. What are we going to from here? What would do the most damage? Brick Break, right? I guess we'll Brick Break. I could hard swap back. Keep my scissor for later. Because what other Pokemon do you have? I would think you have Golden Go in the back end, right? Not Gargle. I am going to swap you back into the Murkrow. And I'm just going to go for Gleam. Swapping him right back into Murkrow. We're keeping our scissor alive. There's no reason for it to die here. But we can just swap it into Murkrow. We know Murkrow's not going to die here. And then I can set up Tail and get my value out of Murkrow. The Gleam comes out here. We finish off the Iron Hands. And like I said, Murkrow's not dying to whatever Arcanine has to offer. And if I had to guess, it's probably a Flare Blitz, a Flamethrower, one or the other into the Scissor slot. Flare Blitz. Unless, did you slide that over? He slid it over. That's fine. As long as I don't get burned. No burns allowed. No burns allowed. Thank you, game. No burns allowed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there is Gargoyle now comes back out here. And that, that is one of the reasons why I swap the scissor is because I can get some damage off on the Gargoyle knuckle with that. And kind of fall out strong. So is Tailwind a must is your question? Kind of? A little bit? I think I just Brave Burn this thing down. I'm thinking I just double down in this. Yeah, I think this is going to be a great call. Instead of setting up Tailwind, we can deal some damage here. And Brave Bird can finish that off. That's strong, man. That's, that's fine. That is fine. That is fine. Because, A, we don't need Tailwind up against Gargle Knuckle. It's just not important at all. And, B, I'm physical attacking with my Murkrow. So, Murkrow's going to be able to finish off Arcanine here. Huge plays. Gargle Knuckle's going to go for a Salt Cure. Chip up some damage there. And then I can just bring out my Skizzy, right? Do I bring out the Skizzy? Or do I bring out my Sandy Shocks? I do got Sandy Shocks ready to roll. I do indeed have Sandy Shocks ready to roll. And I still have Terra. They also still have Terra. They also still have Terra. Got Earth Power too. I could set up subs. I can do a good bit. I can do a good bit. So I feel like we save our scissor. And we go straight into Sandy Shocks. Because it's a, it's a 3v1 at this point. It is a 3v1. A nice lovely 3v1. We're gonna prop pop our uh, booster energy and we'll cook him from there. So special attack is heightened. And do I tear here? Straight electric. I think we just we have to brave bird this thing. <laughs> like it's our best bet. Uh if we go straight or electric, I, I feel like we might want to save this for scissor. I mean it doesn't really help scissor. This will just give us boosted damage. What do we terrasize? I feel like, yeah, we have to Terrasize into Electric. It's our best bet. And then we just shop an Earth Power. And the reason I want to Terrasize into Electric is not because of any defensive purposes. It's because just in case the Gargonackle uh, Terrasizes into Ghost, Electric would then be our best move to use. So then having our Terra into Electric is going to be solid. So I'm with it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So I'm Terrasizing here. They are also Terrasizing. So again, next turn, I can just drop Thunderbolts. They're going to be double damage. The booster energy, all that good stuff. This probably turns into Ghost, right? Yeah. Gargle Knuckle's most prominent terror type is always Ghost. So, usually when they Terrasize, it's always Ghost. So, keep that in the back of your head when you're playing. Earth Power's gonna fly here. Nice damage. Nice damage. Thunderbolt should be able to finish that off next turn. And Brave Bird's gonna do a bit more damage here now. Uh, yeah, that's that's game. That's game, set, match. Game, set, match. You're gonna go for a Salt Cure over on the me. That's fine. One Thunderbolt can finish you off. Sandy Shocks coming out here in match number two. And like I said, I was promising you guys a victory. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Going to be one-on-one -on -one after this one. Sandy Shocks ripping up. But more importantly, our play style actually want us to battle. The swap of the Murkrow turn one. Reading the fake out and freeze dry coming in that slot. Having Scissor eat that up. Drop a bullet punch into the Deli Bird. See you later, Deli Bird. We, weren't worried. we were not worried about that. And then from there, we were just flood remaining. Uh, they had some gleams. Finished off the Iron Hands. And everything was working perfectly. Everything just lined up perfectly after that. But I'm going to drop a Thunderbolt, a Brave Bird. Our opponent probably cancels battle, right? See you later. Get on out my face. Yep, there it is. One-on-one for today's video. Let's hop into our third and final. Look for a winning record.
Final match come at you guys, and I guess everybody is using this team. We're going up against the same exact team, not the same opponent. Looking for another win here in match number three, but I definitely want to get Sandy Shocks out here yet again because I love this Pokemon. Really cool Pokemon, really strong on the special attack side. I do believe that Iron Hands does get yet another lead, so I am going to go into Fluttermane. I also might lead Intimidate with this thing because I do have Cobra Cloak as well. I totally forgot about the Cobra Cloak. So you know what? I'm going to go into th those two. Bang, bang go into this lovely little sandy shocks and then last but not least gotta go scissor with a brute bonnet scissor did some work in the last battle i did like scissor there but brute bonnet's pretty sick and i feel like it can get some work done here it got sucker punch for the uh the golden go it can spore up on some pokemon i do have close combat on him as well so i'm kind of leaning let's get some brute bonnet action out here even though scissor rocks scissor has been great all video long but i'm gonna rock him with the brute bonnet really liking that pokemon Really, really liking that Pokemon. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a winner Mac for today's video. One and one. Still upset at that first battle, man. Definitely wanted that. But, you know, I'm super excited to bring it, bring you guys a Nuzlocke. I'm working on it right now. I actually have all the files downloaded for randomizers and all that. This is going to be pretty cool. I'm thinking of do doing either Gen 1, like Fire Red, Leaf Green, or Gen 3. So you guys let me know in the comment section down below which one you guys want to see. But I'm, I am going to be starting that once I get all my rebranding stuff done with my logo and all that. But my logo is pretty much done. Uh, we're working on uh, membership badges, emotes right now, and then we got to do intro, outro, and channel banner. So once that's all done, I'm telling you guys the Nuzlocke is going to come out. I have my green screen right behind me, ready to go, because I want to do everything all at once. And I'm going to have a new desk, new setup. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome, so I'm super excited for that. But yeah, he's going to go in with the Iron Hands and Deli Deli Bird, and you cannot fake out any of my Pokemon. Deli Bird outspeeds me just a tad bit, and... I could Terrasilize, which I think I'm going to do. Terrasilize into straight grass. And Major Bull turns to fire. Actually, I might just protect this this uh, shot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to protect this shot. I'm not going to change into grass just yet because I think Fake Out's going to come in here. He's going to do a little bit of damage. And then on top of that, like a Hydro Pump or something is going to come after my Bull. So, in that case, I can just protect the shots, Dazzle and Gleam across the board, and then Dazzle and Gleam next turn onto the Deli Bird and Thrasilize at the same time. But he ends up with Drawn Iron Hands, which is fine. I don't mind it. And who are you going to go into? It's a real question. Here bring out Arcanine. So, Arcanine flies out here. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Intimidate's going to come in, out here. I'm thinking of just swapping Taurus at this point. But I get off a nice, lovely protect. Hopefully, Deli Bird is going after my Taurus. No, it goes for an icy one, so it just wants to slow me down. It's here to slow me down, which hurts a little bit because that takes off my sash also. So I have no focus sash. He is faster than me now. And I think Arcanine, me and Arcanine's speed is going to be close. But wow, was that thing sash for that crit? Yeah, we just crit it onto that Deli Bird, but it is sash, so. So, hmm, what's the play now? What is the play now? This Gleam's 100% to play on your shot. Do I swap you? Hmm. The water move's terrifying. That's my problem. I think I just attack with this thing. I think I'm just gonna attack with this thing, even though we're intimidated. I really don't want to swap until Deli Bird's off the field, but he goes for Hydro Pump. We dodge. We dodge. That's totally fine, because Close Combat's gonna fly here, chip up some nice, nice damage, and our defense is gonna drop. I'm fine with that turn. Big time dodge from, I think it was our bull. Flare Blitz gonna fly. Can we eat up this Flare Blitz? We don't. We don't eat up the Flare Blitz. Ooh. We do not eat up the Flare Blitz. And we do not get rid of Deli Bird. Deli Bird's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. Uh, I could Sucker Punch. Could also Terrasilize. Hmm. I think that is going to be my play. I think we're going to use a Terrasilize here and Sucker Punch the Deli Bird down. And then just hard swap in the Sandy Shocks. I'm with it. Just so I can get Intimidate back and Speed back at the same time. Because he did drop my attack stat and my speed stat. And my little dinosaur tail, Legget, Amoongus is ready to suck a punch. Hopefully, the Deli Bird just, just takes this one and dies. Because <laughs> we need this thing gone. We need it gone. So we're going to withdraw our Tauros. Our lovely little Tauros. We know he has Iron Hands. We know Iron Hands is a back-end Pokemon. I do have ground moves for that. I can deal with that. 
I can deal with that, but Protosynthesis is going to pop here. And please, Dolly Bird, just take this Sucker Punch to the chin. Just take it to the chin. Take it to the chin. Let me KO you, let a Flare Blitz fly into the slot, and we'll go from there. It'll be amazing. It'll be beautiful. It'll be a beautiful turn for us. So we Terrasalize our lovely little Brute Bonnet. And let me land Sucker Punch. Ah, I hate this game. Don't like it one bit. Now I have to, now I have to protect my boy here. Actually, I don't even have to protect him. I can just constantly Sucker Punch. Is Flare Blitz coming in here? Will-O-Wisp. We are Fire-type now. Suck it. <laughs> but yeah, again, Sucker Punch. Coming in hot. Thunderbolt. Coming in hot. Actually, I'm going to Earth Power this slot. Just in case he wants to swap it into, say, Iron Hands. It's just our play all day. It's just our play. It's a protecting the Arcanine. What are you doing with Deli Bird? Real question. Oh, Deli Bird's dead. So we get rid of Deli Bird. Deli Deli Bird's gone. He's gonna bring back out Iron Hands for the, uh... For the what's called. 100% bring it back out Iron Hands for the Fake Out. I think he wants to go after my Sandy Shocks. And this is the point where I swap Sandy Shocks into Intimidate. Yes, 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 yes. Two physical attackers out on the field. I go for the Sucker Punch KO here as well. I could also Protect. But Intimidate's gonna be so big. We're, we're just gonna Intimidate here. I mean, it's gonna be way too big here. Two physical attackers, Iron Hands hits way too hard. We need to start countering up onto it right here, right now. So we're gonna hope that the fake out goes after Sandy Shocks. If not, I mean, Intimidate's gonna help us out tremendously. I'm gonna do that. I'm doing this. So we swap here, Intimidate's flying. Arcanine's now minus two, isn't it? Or is it minus one? He's gonna end up with on Arcanine. It's fine. So which all is Arcanine? It's going to go into his final Pokemon, which is... I can deal with that. I can deal with that. And there's the Fake Out. Fake Out coming right into that slot. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sucker Punch coming in here. Oh, and Sucker Punch going to do nothing. It's going to fail. The Sucker Punch fails. Uh, I really want to go for a Spore, but I'm Fire-type now, so Rage Powder will, will affect me. Let's swap him into Sandy Shocks. Not sure. What are you saying? Maybe we just protect our bull here. Maybe we just protect our bull. I want to hope that Amoogus doesn't Terrasalize or anything. So Terrasalize does come out here. Is it in Amoogus? It is. That was great. That was great. A really good terror there. Really good terror. I hope it's not rocking terror blast. That would be my only problem, right? That would be my, my, my only problem. It would be a terrible problem for us. Is it rocking terror blast? Please tell me no. We got a crit on that. Sandy Shock's gonna come out here and do some work. Game Punch gonna fly here. We're both soak pretty well. The thing is minus one. They bring out Sandy Shocks here. You're gonna be able to spore me. Mm. No bueno. The only problem with terrasalizing into. A different type of grass with bonnet. I'm thinking of swapping this thing right now. And just protecting. This is a good battle. This is a really good battle. We're having some good battles in today's video. Making me think a lot. When you guys see me quiet, you know it's a good battle. When I take like a second to pause real quick. I'm gonna see some withdrawals. This is a fine withdrawal turn. This is fine. This is fine. But I know a close combat can still KO that. And I think Bolt Taurus might outspeed it. We'll see. Protect coming out from my Taurus, and we're hoping, we are hoping that Iron Hands is going after Taurus here. It is. That is wonderful. That is beautiful. Now I just want to check the speed stats real quick. I do want to check the speed stats real quick. Uh, what are you at? What's your speed? 167. That should be faster then. That should be faster. Then Arcanine. Now the real question is, does he swap Amoogus? 
Because I will Thunderbolt in that slot, but I'm just going to say he doesn't swap Amoongus. And I'm just going to close combat. I'm going to just play it safe here. Even if he swaps it, it's no big deal. So I think my Taurus does outspeed the Arcanine. Wow, <laughs> this battle's wild. This battle's wild. Well, I hope he doesn't swap the Iron Hands. But I would think he, if I was him, I would. Considering you're just going to take damage on a support mon and you, you are minus one on attack. And he does the swap, so that's good for us. So we're popping a nice little Earth Power. Dealing some nice damage on that thing. Close combat flies here. We pick up the KO. He's going to Drain Punch into me. Or maybe just go for a Wild Charge. I'm hoping a Wild Charge. Wild Charge would be better. A Wild Charge would definitely be better. But again, it's minus one. So I'm, I might even swap my Tauros here. Just for later purposes. But Drain Punch does fly here. That's fine. He gets back a little bit of HP. And he's going to bring out a Moongus. So we know he can't KO me. And the real question is, I think we just swapped Toro shit, right? We swapped Tori? Just for a fake out later? Or not for fake out for uh, another Intimidate? Because a Thunderbolt's going to rip into you. And I could just straight up swap you into a Moogus and waste some sleep turns. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. So Sandy Shock is here. Our problem here would be if he protects a Moogus. Which I don't think he does, right? I think he's sitting here like, yo, I need uh, Iron Hands to, to get off the brunt of the damage. I'm going to swap to Tauros, and the reason I'm doing that is obviously for Intimidate later. But I need to get rid of Amoongus right here, right now. Because my other Pokemon can kind of take care of the, the Iron Hands as well. But we need to get rid of Amoongus, and that's fine. Rage Powder, I am 100% fine with that. We switch into Thunderbolt for that exact reason. And we're going to take you out. You are definitely dead this, right? No, you survived that. That is a surprise. And you have a berry, so another Thunderbolt KOs. He's gonna go for a Drain Punch in this slot. That's fine. Wow, you're leaving my Sandy Shocks to live. Can't believe you keep my Sandy Shocks alive like that. So I also have a berry, which is good. And dude, such good battles in today's video. Long drawn out battles. I think this is what happens when you get higher up on the master tier. It's just awesome. It's just awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna drop another Thunderbolt. Give me no reason not to. And if I can wake up. I would love to spoil this thing, but I don't want the Rage Powder. I might just rage, I'm just going to Rage Powder myself. I'm keeping my Sandy Shocks alive. I'll keep my Sandy Shocks alive all day, but I am still asleep. Kind of sucks. Is he going for another Rage Powder? No. We have to take that out. That's, that's fine. That's huge. Hey, okay, this match is pretty much locked up. Because I don't think he can KO any of my Pokemon, right? I don't think he can KO any of my Pokemon. Probably just going into another Drain Punch. And yeah, you're gonna go on him. He's able to soak up. I can drop an Earth Power next turn. I can just constantly spore spam until that thing's dead. And yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I actually am gonna go for a Sucker Punch here. Sucker Punch. Let it have it. Battle was canceled. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 1 for today's video. Lost our first battle. Came back second and third. Won them both. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. What a set of battles with this Sandy Shocks team. Absolutely love that Pokemon. Did some big time work on the special attack side. We also had Fluttermane, Scizor, Tauros, Brute Bonnet, and Murkrow all getting out there in today's video and using this team to its fullest potential. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.